All right guys, before we get started with the vlog, I wanna give a shout out to my friends at Zenogen Hair Product. This product helps grow your hair 40% faster. It also helps stop shedding, repair damage. It does a ton of great things for your hair and all you have to do is shampoo your hair with it three to four times a week. It's a great routine to get into. If you guys would like to enter for a chance to win this product, then go find Zenogen on Instagram. Here's their Instagram page. Click on this photo, comment in the comments that you would like to win and I'll I'll pick somebody soon to win this product, but also make sure that you give them a follow while you're on there. And a shout out that you learned about their product from Free Salon Education. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get started with the vlog. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, three. What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today I wanna get into textured hair again. I still had some hair left on our mannequin from Pivot Point. So today I wanna get into another textured haircut. This one is gonna be asymmetrical. So I think you guys are gonna dig that because it's definitely something a little bit different for you in the salon and definitely a highly requested haircut for people with curly hair because it gives them something different to do. It's not the typical round shape that they would normally have with their curly hair. We used the same mannequin that we had in the past haircut, but what we did was we cut some round graduation around the sides, took it in nice and tight, tucked it in underneath, and then we did some dry cutting all the way around the haircut to create the finished look. This is the inspiration for the haircut so you guys can see how right in here it tucks underneath. That's that round graduation that we cut. And then all on top, it's a very loose texturized uh, look to the haircut. And then also the thing that I love, oh, there we go. The thing that I love is a little bit of that fringe area. So I'm gonna show you guys how to cut that using the tease cutting technique. I'm really gonna break that down in this video. So uh, I hope you get a lot from that. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this haircut. Hopefully you love it. Hopefully you can use it in the salon and plenty more haircuts to come. Let's get started with the step-by-step. -step. Here we go. So before we start the haircut, I want to go over the tools I'm going to use, starting with our leave-in conditioner from Paul Mitchell. This is full circle. It's a nice thick leave-in conditioner. It helps me get through the hair. Then I'm going to use the, the Ergo paddle brush to detangle the hair. So I'm going to brush through it. This brush works really well to get the tangles out and get me ready for hair cutting. I'm going to use my DB20 scissor from Mizutani. It's my favorite scissor. It's a 5.7 inch scissor. Great for precision cutting. Also, I'm going to use it for dry cutting later on in the video uh, to show you guys the versatility of that. We're using YS Park clips and also our YS Park 339 comb with the little hook on the end. The great thing about YS Park combs is how flexible they are um, and how strong they are when you're working with them. These combs last forever. They're also uh, heat resistant up to, I believe, 425 degrees. So um, they will withstand any iron work or anything that you're doing. Uh, pretty much a standard comb in the beauty industry. So we're gonna start working in diagonal back section. Right below parietal ridge, I follow the round of the head back uh, to pretty much the occipital bone, then I cross over. This is where I wanna work my precision cutting. I also uh, wanna work with my tension on the side. So you can see how I stretch the hair out, then I let it go, and then I grab it again and pull back to see exactly where that hair is gonna fall when I pull it back with tension. Because the funny thing about curly hair is that when you pull it back, um, as soon as you let it go, it springs back, right? So you wanna make sure that you're cutting it at the right length. So a little test that I do is pull the hair out, let it go, pinch it again, and then pull it out. See where your hand goes, and that's where you should start cutting. All right, so now we're gonna continue up the head, taking about a half inch section of new hair. With curly hair, I don't like to take a lot of hair at once because you'll lose your guide really easy. You don't have that nice solid line to work with. So I want you guys to pay close attention to my elevation. As I work up the head shape, the head curves away from me, so my elevation gets higher so that I um, remove more weight from the haircut. The lower my elevation, the more the hair is gonna stack up. So I wanted to create a nice sleek side to this haircut and then have that disconnection fall over top. So as I work my way around the head, I'm really working with layering, which looks more like a graduation because it's curly hair but I'm working straight out from the head for the most part um, as I work my way up the entire head shape to the parietal ridge. So then I just follow the round of the head back, 
working those layers, um, using the tight teeth of my comb to have nice tight tension, but understanding that where I'm over directing and pulling that hair out to where it's going to spring back. So now I've got that all done. I'm going to take the clips out. That's basically to me, this is like if you were going to shave the side of somebody's head. I just did that little section in a precision form, and then the rest of it I'm going to do all dry cutting. So we're going to go in. I use my Bricado mousse, run that through the hair. Then I'm going to take my paddle brush, brush all the product through the hair. That's a key factor in uh, in styling hair is to make sure that you get the product on every hair strand. So put the product in the hair, brush it through. Then I use a diffuser to slowly dry the hair and create those curls without the frizz. Now I'm going to go in with my DB20 scissor again. I'm going to do dry cutting with this scissor. We're going to do the tease cutting technique, which is a half close of the scissor as you tease into the hair, which will cut the hair, but it gives it a nice soft edge, almost like a point cut look to it, but you're doing it with little chunks of hair at a time. Now the reason I chose the Mizutani DB20 as opposed to the Mizutani Puffin, which is a dry cutting scissor that normally I choose in this situation, is because I wanted to show you guys that the DB20 can do it all. If you're looking for an all around scissor, this is definitely my go-to. But um, when you look at dry cutting techniques, the puffin was designed to do this kind of thing. So as I cut through the hair, it glides through it. The DB20 does a little bit more grip on the hair, which isn't a bad thing, but it can wear down the blade over time when you do this type of technique on dry hair. So I like having the two different scissors because I can use the one only for dry hair. And then I have my other scissor only for precision cutting. So the cool thing about the tease cutting technique as I go through here, it's really just pinching those curls, taking those sections, and you can see how I'm just sculpting the shape on this curly hair. Her hair is gonna live curly all the time. If it wasn't going to, and she was gonna smooth it out, then I would do a little bit more precision cutting, um, obviously, but because she's gonna wear it curly, I love doing the tease cutting technique, creating those curls and that texture and the movement, um, and you don't want really a precision look with this type of cut. So now I over direct the little bang area, so I just grab chunks of the bang and I tease cut into it. That gives it that pieciness in the front. You can see all the texture around the shape, and I just work my way throughout the entire shape doing the tease cutting technique, finish it with some spray. You could see our inspiration. Hope you guys love this cut. Definitely let me know if you want to see more cuts like this. All right, guys, like always, if you like this haircut, then post in the comments below. Let me know. Also, if you made it this far in the video, let me know that as well, because I'll add you to my favorite people list and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Also, don't forget, go to Zenogen's Instagram page, find the picture that we talked about and enter to win these products. You guys will love them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.